Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at key mapping. Key mapping gives us a lot of flexibility when controlling live by allowing us to use the computer keyboard to control various functions. Key mapping mode is enabled by pressing this key button at the top here and also by using the control K keyboard shortcut and that's command K if you're on Mac. And you can see a lot of things have lit up in orange here. These are all the things that can be mapped to keys on your keyboard. So to show you an example, the way to map a parameter to a key is just to select the parameter that's lit up orange here and then just press the key on your keyboard. So if I press a Q, you can see the Q shows up here to indicate that it's mapped. And now if I exit key map mode, then when I press the Q, that knob now jumps from 0 to 100%. So you can map basically most of the keys on the keyboard. Some of them can't be mapped because they're hardwired to functions in live, like the enter key, for example, or the arrow keys. There's a few keys that have just already got functions and they can't be changed. But most of the keys can be used. And also, all the letter keys, you'll notice that the Q here is a lowercase Q. If I now press the shift key, and that's an uppercase Q, so we have the use of both uppercase and lowercase letters. And that's really handy because that basically doubles the amount of keys that we can use out of the letter keys.